Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Mark 671 Sorry about the last couple of weeks not posting any videos, uh, but it's been a bit of a rough one, I'm afraid. But hey ho, there you go, such is life, you know. Well, so this is my third part of uh, a day out I had in the cold. I wanted to test some winter gear in the belly boat, you know, to see how, how long I could sort of last in the water. And uh, so, as I say, it's the last part, so I'll be at the end just sort of explaining how I felt, you know, that type of thing, if it's worth getting this type of gear and maybe the thickness of the the, the clothing that I'm using, that type of thing, all the details. I'll, I'll just do a little short piece at the end for you, but there'll be some links in the description below for all the information you ever need uh, for everything that you can see uh, and including the sort of wet weather clothing I use, the waders and that type of thing. I'll also leave a couple of links in the description below that'll take you directly to my Belly Boats Tea Fishing Fun or Belly Boat Fishing Fun playlist, which is full of all sorts of useful information, reviews, and all sorts on the boat. Uh, also, I'll leave you a link for the free fishing if you're interested as well on the rivers, especially the River Thames. Just a quick heads up, uh, I didn't catch anything in this episode. I nearly caught a flounder on the first episode of this, uh, right at the boat, but just missed out on that one. Um, never mind, hey-ho again. Um, so if you don't mind, uh, hit the like, the subscribe and notification bell. It helps my channel a great deal. Uh, you just need to sign in with Google if you're not already and you can subscribe to me. It's free, doesn't cost anything, and it's just like adding me to your favourites list, that's all. Um, plenty more coming soon. Uh, River Thames next, tidal side of things. Looking forward to doing that. That should be in a couple of weeks weeks fingers crossed so wish me luck and um yeah hope you enjoy Back on the mark again. Slightly closer in. Starting to feel the cold just a little bit. Got a little bit of a cold sort of northeasterly at the moment. It's going down my neck, so oh, put my hoodie on I think. Okay, tide screaming out now. Quite a bit of tide. Four, uh, 4 point seven meter today. Tide with a range of about three and a bit, I think, something like that, which isn't actually that big. But well, compared to a lot of the places around the country, it's tiny. <laughs> Right, we're on a rocky bottom here. Lots more stone and that type of thing, a bit of flint mixed in and shell, that sort of thing. Whereas before it's all been on mud, clear mud. That might have just picked up a bit of shell or something. Maybe not. I know that there's some foreign mussels that have invaded the harbour and, um, uh, mussels? Are they mussels? No, um, oysters. Oysters? Clams? I don't know. One of those. Uh, they're Asian, I think, and they've completely covered some parts of the harbour. Crazy. Oh, hang on. There's a tree coming down the water. This might not be good. See. Yeah, and they're absolutely huge, these things. And they stick up vertically. And can cause all sorts of problems. Oh, my fingers are getting cold. Yeah, that's quite a big ragworm for a flounder spoon, really. 
You only really need a tip it. Don't need much. Right, try again. Oh, it'd be really nice to catch something for you on the camera, you know, a nice bass or something. Obviously a flounder, like I said earlier, would be brilliant, but almost chance of that, I think. Oh, chilly. Right, up with a hoodie. Are you all right there? <laughs> right, just change the battery. Oh. Just brought in the flounder spoon. I've got to keep my hands warm and using the flounder spoon isn't such a good thing <laughs> when you want to keep your hands warm. So, it's the only bit that's really cold, I think, at the moment. Time is. Have a look. It is something o'clock. Is it up past one or something? I guess. One forty. Hmm. Gets dark here in the UK, sort of four o'clock, half past four in the evening. You know what, I think I'm gonna have a fly of the drone. Yep, going to have a fly of the drone. Well, we've got no wind, it's not too bright, you know. Let's go for it. I'd love to get some B-roll with the drone. I must admit. Oh. I hope it's not too cold for my fingers. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over to the pontoon because it gives me a home point then, somewhere I can land if things go badly wrong. <laughs> when things go badly wrong. So, let's see. Just about got enough time, I think. So, at this point, uh, I've been practicing in the park and uh, got my head around the drone in the park and that. Um, I fly 3D drone uh, style, you know, full on aerobatics, that type of thing with simulators and that. I can fly drones inside and out. I, f I actually fly uh, RC models a lot as well. But um, yeah, so I thought I'd give it a go, get a little bit of B roll just for the start of a, you know, for new starts and things like that on YouTube. Um, <clears throat> I didn't realize how cold my fingers were. My, literally, my fingers were so cold, they just were wobbling all over the place but I give it a go anyway uh, then then I get a bit of brain fade because there's me worrying about other people boats coming past and all sorts of things and it, it gets a bit dodgy occasionally but uh, in the end I decide to land it and do a little bit more practice so hopefully next time I'm going to do a bit of fishing uh, with the drone footage so I can get roughly about an hour and a half with three batteries in a decent weather um, so hopefully I'll get about you know get some long videos of um, some nice drone footage you know close-up shots that sort of thing far away shots and uh, it should look quite nice hopefully but I've just got to get a bit more practice for that I think so to sum up my cold water experience uh, I like I showed earlier the pictures that it was a three millimeter shorty wetsuit that I've been using uh, and I found it okay like I said I reckon I could do probably five hours or so in this weather it was a six C water temperature and five C air temperature but it was a bit colder in the evening as it, as I was coming home like this now it was actually probably about three or four C I reckon but I, like I say I reckon I've done another hour easily so five hours in total uh, quite comfortably really so yeah I hope this helps you and um, enjoy your fishing